worked with John Goodman in the past? Yeah, uh, we worked on uh, Barton Fink uh, together. Uh, I was his body double. And uh, was in the other. Yeah, you're fat. <laughs> uh, there's uh, Sweetie, I'm trying to do a trying to do an interview here, if you don't mind. Thanks. What's this an interview right. for? Uh, uh, it's it's well, a it's a documentary. Did you walk the dog? Yes, I walked the dog. Did walk, and did you brush the dog? I did. I, I walked the dog. I brushed the dog last night and this morning. How long is this going to take? Because I've got people coming over. It's not going to take very long, honey. These people are fucking professionals. They're not amateurs. My porn. Okay, um, so is, is that your wife, Walter? Yeah, it's my wife. Ex-wife. Ex-wife. Well, I think uh, in the eyes of uh, in the eyes of the Most Holy, we're still we're still married. Maybe not in the eyes of California. Um, well, I was going to ask you about that because you mentioned before that you're actually uh, practicing uh, Judaism now. That's right. I made a conversion while we were uh, engaged. And so you still continue to go to temple. Yes, I do. I uh, observe uh, Shabbos. You'll always and be a major. You'll always be a fucking goy to you know, sweetheart. Real tribe, honey. I converted. Okay. So you guys ever go to temple? That's together? her little joke. She's not serious. He's still about got the that. sleeping bag though. He doesn't want to get rid she's of the not, sleeping bag. You know? She's not serious about the Gentile thing. It's just her little joke. See, mm -hmm. it's funny. So. Uh, um, it's, uh, you know, I just want to get a clear picture here for the audience on, um, you know, what your story is. Like, I, I want to make sure I tell your side of it. Well, oh, it's a very clear picture. I mean, I, I, I worked with John Goodman on Barton Fink. He, he knew me, saw what I was wearing. He saw everything about me. I, you know, we spent a lot of time, a lot of our downtime. I was telling him my life story. And uh, the next thing you know, uh, I'm watching uh, Big Lebowski, and I'm, I'm seeing uh, me up there. He's doing me the whole time. He's he's aping he's aping me in every story I ever told him. Uh, you mentioned a couple of things about military service when I, I talked to you last, Walter. Uh, uh, have you actually been in the military? Uh, that's right. That's correct. I've uh, done done my time in the early '90s in the. Uh, Military uh, during uh, GW one, uh, it's uh, Gulf War, Gulf War one. Uh, I was uh, I did my service. Did do you? So you were Marine Corps, Army. Uh, uh, uh National Guard, National oh, okay. Guard. But uh, if well, you, if the shit had gone down here while they were all over there, it would have been me. It would have been me who, who took care of everything. Uh, so I, I was their backup. So. Um, the military background is that uh, helps you land some of the uh, the body double stunt work and the bodyguard jobs that you were talking about. Oh yeah, well you know it definitely like helped me with my sense of uh, fearlessness, <laughs> knowing that I can what <laughs> your sense of fearlessness. Yes. <laughs> But you're still sleeping on my couch. Body, bodyguard. No, I'm just listening, honey. I'm allowed to listen. You're in my living room. You're sleeping on my couch. I'm just listening. I'm technically between places right now, <laughs> and uh, I am staying homeless. He's on, homeless. Uh, Cynthia, on Cynthia's couch, right now. Um. So, uh, the Lebowski fest. There seem to be. Um, uh, you seem to have like a bit of a problem with uh, during the contest uh, for the Walter. Mm -hmm. Like I noticed, you know, when you didn't win, there was a bit of a letdown for you. You know, it was an emotional moment. Right, right. Well, you know, uh, I, I was looking to receive the respect that Jeff Dowd has received for being an inspiration for the dude, and uh, I fear, like, as long as I cannot officially acknowledge this inspiration for Walter from me. Uh, they at least give me the uh, the best Walter of the, of the fest. I mean, what we're looking at, the Walter you're looking at is a copy of the original. The Walter that you see uh, on the uh, on the Big Lebowski is a copy of the original. And the other uh, Walters at the Lebowski fest were copies of a copy. 
That's why they don't look right. I mean, yeah. a copy of a copy would be an original, really. No, a copy of a copy is a facsimile. You know, I mean, that's, that's one of the reasons I want my message to get out there, because I have a feeling there's the, uh, an original Jesus as well. Uh, there's an uh, original Donnie, I'm sure. Uh, I think these are all people that uh, somehow have crossed paths and they put them all together. Maybe that's how the Coen brothers choose to write their uh, scripts. It's just uh, by, by taking people that they know through everyday life and uh, chaining them all together in, in, a, uh, in a movie set, so to speak. Oh, it's kind of eerie, Walter, that um, your name's Walter and you're married, or at least were married, to a Jewish girl named Cynthia. I just have to say it. That's a little disturbing. To Too many similarities to be a coincidence, isn't it? That's my that's my point. If if it were just a coincidence that that his character kind of looked like my we we have the same name, would we be married to the same type of woman? Walter, you're never ever going to get the recognition that you're that you're wanting from this. You just might as well let it go. You know, they're all, I, they're at the top of their game. You know, they're like all in that weird Scientological bullshit. You know, you're never, just let it go. Just let, let it go and go. move the fuck on. How will I ever get recognition? You know, you know no. What am I supposed to not let go? If I don't let go, what else am I supposed to find? There are a lot of Jews in Hollywood, you know. If I can't have this, if I can't have who I am, then what can I have? Oh, God, Walter. I swear, this is, this is one of the many reasons that our marriage never worked. There weren't really uh, many reasons. There was just a few, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna work those out. So, Walter, um, you know this Judaism thing. Um, you've been practicing for how long? Uh, well, it was when Cynthia and I uh, were first engaged, and uh, she talked about me converting. Uh, that's when I started uh, studying. And so you, you've been a, a devout follower of Judaism since then? That's right. Okay, I just wanted to be clear on that. And have you and Cynthia ever attended temple together? There are temples that we can attend together. Yeah, uh, uh, my temple would but, never accept a convert. Mine are for, you know. Well, she, uh, she attends a temple that uh, doesn't look favorably on, on me. Okay, uh, on boys. When you she... My, my father even tried to donate a lot of money, you know, so, so that they would accept him, but... Uh, the word uh, goy is a derogatory nomenclature. You know, for Gentile. Gentiles. I'm sorry, Gentile. Is Most that, of my family are still Gentiles. You know. So so are you, honey. I mean, really. So That's a nice camera. That's what the conversion was about, sweetheart. <laughs> so... Mm. So Walter, do, you, do you need anything to drink? I don't think I even asked you if you need anything to drink. Uh, I mean, he's fine. He's he's a, he's a fucking professional, gee. okay? If he Doesn't needed mean something not to drink, thirsty, Walter. he would have brought it. Or he would have had crash camel, services. You know? Give it to him outside you in know. the van. Excuse yeah, I, I didn't quite have the budget for craft services, I guess, today. I, you know. I'm just trying to be a good hostess. You, know, you wouldn't know anything about being polite. Um... Tea or to answer your previous or question, I do attend a uh, tour for beginners class down at the community center. <clears throat> and uh, so we are. 